Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Hunter from Mountain Astro Photography. Back here with a different video today. It's not going to be a tutorial, it's not going to be an imaging video. It's actually a little bit of an update. If you happen to see the community post that I had over the weekend expressing a, uh, a big hurdle and a big issue that I just dealt with in regards to my deep sky cooled camera. Unfortunately, over the weekend, it quit working on me. So, if you haven't seen the community post, let me brief you up into speed of what had happened. So, Saturday night, which is the 27th now of July, I was setting up imaging outside with the Rockin' On 135, was trying to get Sulfur 2 and Oxygen 3 data on a Whitefield project that I've been working on for the Elephant Trunk and the squid with the flying bat nebula all in the same view. So while I was setting up and doing polling alignments, I was trying to do exposures and I kept getting errors. Now something like this happened about two months ago where I kept having exposure failures for some reason when every time I would try to take a photo, so I'm like, huh, this is very odd. So I did some messing around about two months ago, you know, just changing out like USB cables and changing out like the 12 volt power supply. Well, doing that, it actually started working again when I switched the power ports on the ASI Air that I had to a different one and it started working then. So I was like, okay. Maybe a port is going bad on the ASI Air. I just won't use that one anymore. I got three other ones. I don't need all four of them right now. So we'll just keep it going. So flash forward to what happened on Saturday. The same issue was happening, but nothing I was doing was fixing it. I replaced four USB 3.0 cables to different ports on the ASI Air. That didn't do anything. Replaced and switched out the 12 volt power to multiple ports on the ASA Air. Didn't work either. Brand new cables. I even tried powering directly to the camera with the AC adapter that I would use for the ASI Air or the AM5. That wasn't doing it either. I even changed ASI Airs to the old one I had. The first generation ASA Air Plus didn't work either. So I was like, okay, something is truly wrong here that I need to try and figure out. So I end up taking the entire rig back inside, was troubleshooting for hours and hours. I plugged it in directly into my laptop to open up SharpCap. It recognizes that it's there and it cools perfectly fine, but it just would not show images for whatever reason in SharpCat same thing taking you know exposures just fails every single time so I'm like oh man this is not good because that means my camera is pretty much dead and useless right now and it's probably going to take a while to be repaired from ZWO but boy was I very wrong about that so I wanted to give you this amazing update for what ZWO was done. So we're going to go through the timeline of me going through the process of getting this repaired from the time it's been sent out and returned. You're going to be astonished of how quickly they got this done. So later that night, it was like one o'clock in the morning on Sunday. I was talking to a couple of buddies of mine who happened to be in the Chuck astrophotography, you know, Discord and the YouTube channels where he does the his member live streams and some people had the same problems as I did before and end up being issues with the motherboard inside of the camera. So I was like, okay, well that is pretty definitive. Let me go ahead and I guess start contacting the the support and get a ticket for it. Mind you, one o'clock in the morning on a Sunday, I was typing out this long iteration to say hey this is what's going on this is what i've done the research that i've seen says that it's something on board with the motherboard and the camera needs to probably come in for repair so 
you know, thinking I'm probably not going to get a response until probably sometime during next week because it is a weekend. I went to bed that night, woke up at 8 o'clock on Saturday, on Sunday, with an email response back from a Mr. Bean Franks. If you're watching this, Bean, that is an incredible name. So here's what he had to say. Hello, Hunter. Sorry to hear about your issue. Looks like you tested all of our tests and it looks like you need to come in for service. It is still on the warranty. Mind you, it had one month left in the warranty. I bought it back in September of 2022 from Agena Astro. So we cut it very close here. Here's a link to the instructions to our RMA site. Please go ahead and start RMA. But put in the comments that you worked with me and I approved the return. Once you get the RMA, Please reply back so I can alert the RMA team to process the return. They will come back to our U.S. Service Center, which, funny enough, actually is only a state away from me. I didn't know that. It's in New Jersey, and I live in Delaware, so that's very close by. Um, they'll let you know when the issues of your RMA, they're having some server issues. You should have a response back in a few days. And he said repair times usually take about four weeks after the product is, is received. So I'm like, oh my gosh, four weeks of not being able to image anything, especially through the summer where it's like the best time to look for nebulae. This really sucks. So I was like, okay, I mean, there's not much else I can do. So I go ahead and start the RMA process. Ten minutes later, I get an email back from the RMA saying, hey, we already processed your return. A shipping label is created. Go ahead and send it in. I was like, all right, this is really good. So, of course, the weekend, can't really send it out. So, I got it packaged up. I put it in the mail. I dropped it off at my local UPS location, which is only about ten minutes away in Seaford, Delaware. And I sent it out about five o'clock on a Monday. So, waiting the next day, it gets delivered to the facility at ZWO the next morning on Tuesday. So I was like, oh wow, that is very quick. I mean, it's only a state away. I'm not surprised by that. A couple hours go by towards the afternoon hours. I get another email from the RMA people, and it says, hey, your product is fixed, ready to go, and it's being sent out. 24 hours. <laughs> 24 hours is all it took. And then now, today is on Wednesday, about two days later, it's going to be arriving on my doorstep today. So we're going to see what happens. And when I was talking with the, the people who fixed the camera, they say they replaced the sensor board and the onboard motherboard to the back. So basically, I got a whole brand new camera completely fixed in rapid succession. Man, I got to say... Hats off to ZWL. That is outstanding service to give for something like that, especially that fast. That's incredible. So it will be arriving today. We're going to open it up together and see how it looks and see if it works. So stay tuned on that. Well, it's now Wednesday afternoon and the camera is back in my possession. I haven't opened it up yet, so this is the first time I'm actually looking to see what kind of uh, work has been done. I've got as far as just taking the tape off, so here we go. I mean, this Xfinity box came in handy for a reason. And it's back in its uh, normal box that I sent it with. So opening it up. There we go. I got the sleeve back again. So that is good. Opening it up. And there we go. Brand new camera, basically. <laughs> Between having the hub replaced and the new sensor board as well. So basically, got a brand new camera. Now the only thing left to do, actually clean it up pretty good too. So next thing to try is see if you can take pictures. So here's me just connecting it to the ASI Air that I have and I'm just using just the regular plug and USB-C. So we're going to see if um, we're able to get any images or power. Also it might help if it was actually plugged into the wall too. It's been a long couple of days. 
All right. All right, camera is running. So now we just need to check on the computer to see if we can get some images. Okay, now that we're on the computer, let's go ahead and open up the ASI Air app within BlueStacks so we can see if we get the same problem or not anymore. This will take a second here. Close all these windows. Alright, it's already popped up. Don't have the guy camera plugged in, of course, but that's not the main thing we're looking after. Okay, so we have the camera. Not a moment of truth. Didn't get past this far if I take an exposure. And voila, we have a working camera again. Thank goodness. Now I definitely have to say, ZWO has definitely earned my respect because this was probably the quickest I have ever received a product that needed to go out for service out of anything I've ever owned in my life, not even just astronomy related. This is the fastest I ever received a product back from having an issue. Usually it takes like, you know, one to two weeks. This problem was resolved in just a few days. And being it was a weekend too, mind you. So in technicality, it took two days. One day to get there, Tuesday, they fixed it, sent it back, and arrived back on my doorstep on Wednesday afternoon. And I'm ready to the image again. So big shout out to ZWO. You really came in handy this time. And that's why I continue to support this company and pretty much like 90% of what I own is CWO related. So thank you for watching everyone. I can't wait to get back to imaging yet again and expect more videos ahead. Clear skies and I'll see you in the next video.